Well, I was trying to install and test Argo Linux inside a VirtualBox. The install failed, but I'll still recommend you check out Argo Linux. I'll explain in a second. All right, guys, welcome back. Well, I have Ubuntu Mate uh, as the host, uh, as you see here, I'm, and I'm using OBS Studio to record all this. Uh, this is what I was doing, and anyway, I'll show you this in a second, but the install failed for me for Arco Linux. Let's take a look. This is the uh, previous recording of the installation process. Now, the installation process from what I saw seemed quite beginner friendly. I liked what I saw, but I couldn't get this to install. So let's play the video here. Installation failed, cannot set time zone. Uh, cannot open ETC time zone for writing. I don't think I've ever seen that kind of an error before. Now it's been a while since I've done a full install test review of an Arch based or of any Linux uh, based operating system. I was able to test this in live mode without any issue, not in full screen of course without installing this and installing the uh, VirtualBox guest editions. But from what I saw, this is a very nice looking Arch-based uh, Linux distribution, Arco Linux. And the reason why I wanted to test Arco, well, one of the reasons is I love the name Arco. Uh, Arco is an American oil company. So perhaps this distro is as slick as the name Arco. Get it, Arco Oil. Never mind. Anyway, moving along, from what I saw, this is a very nice looking Linux distro. It's a rather large download, about two and a half gigs. But looking at the software here, this has everything you need to get started uh, out of the box uh, and then some, uh, including Conky to give your uh, desktop a little bit more pizzazz, as it were. It has the HP device manager installed. Uh, HP printers work excellent. Uh, with Linux, at least in my tests. You also may want to take a look at um, uh, Epson printer, uh, printers also. Uh, there's another error there. But uh, I was able to test this in live mode. I was not able to install this. As I stated, the amount of software included is nice, including the variety uh, wallpaper changer. Uh, for, for beginners, you may not use all these pieces of software, at least not until you get more acclimated. Uh, to what Linux uh, uh, has to offer. But I liked what I saw, even though I could not uh, fully install this. Uh, running, uh, testing software or testing operating systems in a virtual box at times can be problematic at best. So what happened to me is not that um, rare, as it were, in terms of coming up with an error. I have a feeling if I ran Arco Linux in a full install, on a separate machine, I may not have that error. Uh, that was not my goal. I just wanted to run this in a virtual box and play around with it and give you my thoughts. So in conclusion, yes, this install failed on me. However, I was able to test this and play with this around a little bit. Uh, I liked what I saw. It's a fully loaded operating system for what I saw. Uh, <clears throat> is it for newbies? <clears throat> Excuse me, probably not. Uh, it's you know it's arch based and it does take getting used to. Uh, that's not to say that a, that a beginner could figure this out. But yeah, when you have errors like that, it's a little bit disappointing. But once again, running in a virtual box, it's not that unusual. So this review, this install failed, but I'm still going to recommend that you take a look. Uh, Arco Linux uh, looks like this has the XFCE desktop environment. Very nice looking, has everything you need. The install process up to the point it failed looks very easy uh, to install. Uh, so take a look at Arco. If you have a spare machine, definitely test it that way. All right, well, that's all I have for this one. I'll have all the links uh, below in the show notes. If I missed anything, uh, please let me know. Thanks for watching. Thank you for over eight years of this Total OS Today technology channel. It's been a fun ride. Uh, support the channel if you can, and maybe I'll stick around for another eight years. Who knows? That's all I have for this one. All right, guys, I will catch you on the next one. This is Toss Today signing off.